welcome back programmers in the previous video we just saw how you can create the registration and login page we just register and login or system and we just upload the some few video in our database which we created in the previous video now if you don't know how to use the video field to upload the video in the Django so link is in the description so in the today's section we are gonna move on but first let's see what I created you can see this is the beautiful slider for video this is unfinished project but I am creating this so this is the fully responsive slider which contains the video and you can see this is working perfectly fine and even when I click on the inspect so let's see so you can see it is working fine and I can slide my video like this you can see this is perfectly working and even I created the button to redirect per particular page like when I click on the home obviously I'm gonna go in the home so when I click on the watch now you can see this is the beautiful perfect slider now, but now the problem is I want this video in the full screen and I want this button on the video so video must be playing in the background and video must be the background so if you don't know how to do this we are gonna do it later but if you know how to do this just comment me now but this is just an example I'm gonna ch change it later even I can play this video too but I want to play a video when user can touch in here and in here okay now let's go in the registration page so this is our registration page in here you can see we just created the username password and password reconfiguration but what if user are so tired user don't want to do this shit you just just want to do is write his fucking name in the name field and write his phone number and generate otp this is the fast way to register you know when you can use the email id so we are gonna change this registration page into the otp registration through the sms because we are creating this website only for mobile user laptop or pc user can use this site too but our main goal is the mobile user so if you are using android or whatever mobile you are using you know how to register this page you just enter your phone number or you can sign in with google facebook or an instagram in the next video i'm gonna show you how to you how you can sign in with login cut this shit out bitch logan cut this shit out how you can sign in with google facebook and instagram but in the today's section we are gonna just focus on how to you can sign in with mobile number or dp so let's do it so now go on your terminal and hit pip install client link is in the description of all codes and pip install twilio now if you don't want to use client which is python or uh, different library so you can just do is twilio just enter pip install twilio now you have to go in the twilio.com site and registration your mobile number then generate your virtual phone number now that you created your virtual phone number you are gonna get the account seed and authentication token so just paste that authentication token in here and seed in here I'm gonna put this code in the description so you can just copy and paste in your uh, Django project now in here in here you can see I just wrote the WhatsApp page in here you can write any message you want and in here from 1 3 2 3 and so on so this is my virtual number you have to enter your virtual number in here and in here which number you want to send the message so enter your sender phone number in here so that's the short way to send a message using python but we are gonna do some changes in here so let's do it in our account app just go on the views.py so you can see we are registration we are registering with the form of the user so we are gonna change this now just go in the templates and in the account app and in the registration.html now in here delete this shit and enter your different label and input for example like this enter your phone number which is label and form dot form user dot username so we are gonna change username into phone number Django is a dump shit and so on so just enter password 1 and password 2 now let's see you can see we got enter your phone number enter password enter re-enter your password now just go in the account tab and models.py now we are gonna create the user registration model and in here we are gonna simply create the obviously the first field is the root user so I'm gonna just copy this which we created in the previous video link is in the description now I'm gonna change the foreign key into one to one field because user can only 
connected with the one database to the another so now we are going to create the name field so i'm going to name it user usr n a m e equal to obviously the character field and then user email id password and otp field now this is important you have to add the otp field phone number otp so i'm gonna name it usr ph otp equal to the positive integer now if you don't know what is positive integer positive integer field can contain only the positive integer obviously that was the dumbest explanation i ever had this is the positive integer so i'm gonna max length equal to uh, i want my in otp for let's say uh, six six is good okay so so the max length of positive integer is six now i'm gonna same do this field with the email field okay so i'm gonna change this ph to email otp because if i want to create the registration with your email id and check out your email i just send you the otp enter your otp in here page okay now the last thing you have to do is create the null equal to true and the blank equal to true for the all field except the first root user i'm not gonna put the null equal to true and blank equal to true in my username because i want user to add your fucking name in my field okay we are gonna change it later but this is enough for now now let's migrate make migrations and migrate oops i forgot to remove run server okay we just alter and created our field now let's create the migrate okay now let's run our server and before you can do this you have to register your this model so i'm gonna just copy this and paste this in our admin so just go in the admin.py paste this in here copy this paste this in here and close the bracket okay now before jumping to the admin panel i want to show you something this is the mid on template i bought from the online so this is the best template for beginner if you want chart if you want anything for front end you're gonna get in here anything seriously bro anything for example you can see in the user you can see the layout one I got all of the user elements let's say what you want registration page okay I got registration page in here I got grid according button model alert progress bar tool tip drop down toast and so on so for example let's say in the widget you can see chart slider image zoom in the form you can see regular form date picker select to file upload in the profile you can see this is my profile page and this is the fully responsive you can see this is the best template for beginner you can see this is the tag field which we are going to use it later to tag our video let's say pc and laptop you can see it is automatically going to create the tag even in here you can see the text formation if you want to create the blog in here you can see the blog page pricing page faq login registration so this is the registration page now if you want this template so give me the 1000 like if i got 1000 like i'm gonna give away for all my user i'm gonna put this template in my allinonecode.pythonanywhere.com site for free totally free if i got 1000 like and that's the fair price for template okay now let's move on so this is my registration page now in the admin you can see usr registration model now this two field is required and this four field is not required so in the registration page we are not gonna add the name email id password and so on so we are gonna just add the enter your phone number enter your password and re-enter your fucking password and when user click on the phone number and so on so it fill the password and when he click on the register it is gonna automatically create the otp if otp is correct which we are gonna store otp in here usr ph otp now if otp is correct we are gonna redirect it into watching and if it isn't correct we are gonna say please enter your correct otp which we just send you in your message so let's do it so in here you can see i am extracting the username from user so now just go in the twilio.com site 
and get your token ID and secure ID. Now in the settings.py just save that ID. You can see in here account seed equal to your account seed and auth token equal to your auth token. Now in here from Django.contrib.auth.setting from Django.contrib.auth import setting okay. Now I'm gonna copy this function okay this code and I'm gonna create this function first I have to import this and for that let's say def send sms send sms and obviously I'm gonna get account seed auth token body from and to as parameter and I'm gonna copy this code and paste in my function just this code with the client okay I forgot to add the client I'm gonna copy this line too because I need to import client from Twilio and then I'm gonna change this WhatsApp page to body which is the parameter and so on so I'm gonna change from and to and remember you have to add this symbol after from because from is the inbuilt keyword of Python and simply I'm gonna copy this function and paste in my views.py so I can use whenever I want even I can do this too I can create new.py file I'm gonna name it extra function extra fun and then I'm gonna paste this code in here so now in the views.py I'm gonna call that trafun.py from dot extra fun import send sms now I'm gonna create the function to generate the random OTP I'm gonna just go in my extra fun dot pi and create another function to generate def generate OTP now it is gonna generate random OTP whenever we call this function we are gonna return the OTP we need only six digit for our OTP and for that I'm gonna import math and random so this is the simplest way to generate OTP digits equal to 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 you can add any digits you want in here you, even you can add the special character ABCD whatever you want and for a range of 6 you can add as many you want let's say if you want 4 digit OTP so you can just add 4 in here so now let's run this code and OTP plus equal to digits mass floor I'm gonna create a separate video for this if you want just comment me so let's say O equal to gen OTP and then I'm gonna simply print the O so you can see here we got 20 33 61 so every time when I run this code it is gonna generate the random number okay now that we got our random number so in the views.py I'm gonna import the generation OTP 2 now that we got OTP and account seed and auth token now let's send our message now let's create the body of our message so let's say message body msg body equal to I'm gonna cut this and paste this in globally message body equal to welcome to watch me Thank you for joining to watch me video sharing site you can go on this site to submit your OTP and in, in here I'm gonna put the redirection link of the particular user to submit their OTP but I am gonna change it later with this site so this is just an example so I'm gonna use the F string to submit OTP and I'm gonna create the random OTP by using let's say random OTP equal to I'm gonna use the generation OTP function and then I'm gonna copy this and paste this in here now that we got our body now let's use the send SMS send SMS the first parameter is so settings dot account seed and the second one is auth token the third one is body and the fourth one is from and to so I'm gonna put the SMS body MSG body in the body parameter and so on so I'm gonna put the from and to so from in here I'm gonna put my virtual mobile number which I generated in twilio.com site the last one is UPHN which is user phone number 
so I can send the message in users phone number now in here I'm gonna create another box for OTP but first let's try this out it is working or not I'm gonna put the every print line in every place where I can assume the error for example print form is saved but phone isn't so I just put the three print statements so I can assume the error now let's try this shit out peaches okay but first we have to go in the forms.py which we didn't create it okay so that's okay so now let's try out so i'm gonna add my 76228585194 number and i have to add plus one nine because we're gonna change it later but i have to add plus one nine in here okay now let's go on the register let's try okay we got error setting object says no attribute account seed so I'm gonna remove this account seed and auth token from here and put it in my views.py this is wrong but I'm gonna change it later and I'm gonna remove settings dot okay now let's try now let's add our number and password now let's try oops I forgot to add plus 91 and boom it's working now let's see the message you can see message sent successfully form is saved but phone isn't and all message is success now let's see mobile message so in here you can see the send from your twilio trial account welcome to watch me so this is the trial account so i got this message to welcome to watch me thank you for joining in watch me video sharing site you can go on this site to submit your otp all in one code pythoninvi.com site when i click on this site I'm gonna redirect it in my all in one code dot python in your dot com site and you can see your OTP is 594563 even I got this page review and even I got the 594536663 as OTP in here so that's how you can send message using Twilio and using Django so when I click on this link you can see it is gonna redirecting into my all in one code dot python in dot com site so that is it for today guys if you like this video just like this video share this video to other programmer hit on the bell icon so you'll never miss my latest video so that is it for today guys see you guys in the next video till then just code